Seth, the Cajuns fell asleep at the wheel to start off the contest and found themselves in a four to nothing deficit before Cajun fans could find a seat here in Tiger Park. Now they would claw their way back into the contest, scoring a run in the third and fourth inning, but ultimately it would be their early mistakes that would cost them the game. I mean, you got to come out ready to play the game. I say all the time, one of those things we say is the game only starts one time. And when it starts, you've got to be ready. And, and it was obvious, you know, we weren't ready. And uh, I had to watch it. I had to watch the film I, to know exactly what happened there, whether it was, you know, I, I remember a couple hits. I remember a couple walks. Um, yeah, I've got to watch the film to really understand what, what happened in that first inning. The one thing I'm positive of, they're really going to be good. And, how quickly are they going to be there? That's the that's the thing that the question. Like you know, show up and compete. Like compete. Don't let the game get away. And you know, whoever's got the ball, the pitchers have got to be one, two, seven in innings. They can't can't pitch six good innings and one bad inning. Louisiana will have a few days off to correct their mistakes, and then we'll return back to Lamson Park to face McNeese State, where first pitch will be at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Covering the Cajuns, Jamarcus Fitzpatrick, KTC Sports.